Okay, so um, as I was telling you earlier, I've been doing uh, psychiatric nursing for 36 years, and um, in the last, thank you, in the last month I've uh, decided, because I can't really afford my mortgage anymore, um, to give it up and try and pay off my mortgage with my super. And um, anyway, so, and then probably have to go back and do some agency work, or which there's plenty. But I was managing a program where um, a lot of these, a lot of my patients were on this really um, quite a heavy duty antipsychotic called clozapine. Um, but it's, it's sort of known as the medication of last choice when nothing else has worked, people get put onto that. It's quite a toxic medication, but it does work at keeping people, you know, um, relatively stable and some of them free of symptoms. But by the time people often get to be on this medication, and it can be fatal, so there's a lot of blood monitoring and cardiac monitoring and everything that goes with this medication and training of GPs to to look out for you know um, all these metabolic disorders but um, a lot of people have you know terrible histories you know when you look at and often by the time um, you know they've been with us for quite a few years most of them have lost connections with families and you know, I've been to quite a few funerals where I'm the only person there other than, um, or in palliative care when someone's dying of cancer, you know, holding their hand or cleaning out their rooming house, little room when they've passed away. So um, anyway, there's one such funeral I was attending of a woman I'd looked after. She'd come from a big family that she had some very... She'd shown me some very old photos of her when she was younger, many years back anyway. So I went to the funeral, but on, on the way to go to the funeral was, as I said, little about half a dozen people there, some from the residential care home she was living in. I just, something came to my mind and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to stop off to the florist and buy her a long stem red rose because I thought I don't know if Pauline's ever had anyone give her a long stem red rose so I literally scribbled down the chorus of this song in the car and um, I suppose I just want to dedicate it to all the beautiful people that um, I learned a lot from too it wasn't just me looking after them you know they taught me there's another woman called Mary who passed away recently. I love you, Suzette. She would just give me the biggest hug, you know. Um, just, yes, yeah, so there's such love for loving them, you know, as well. So, anyway, this is for all my beautiful people I looked after. It's called No One. No one gave you a rose When you were alive No one held you tight Or kissed you so sweetly at night No one tucked you in Sang you lullabies No one beside you No one to hide you No one, no one at all You were a wild, willful child The eldest of nine There was fire in your eyes Concealing a terror inside Did no one see the signs Or hear your muffled cries No 
one beside you, no one to hide you, no one, no one at all. So I will bring you a long stem red rose to place upon your grave. Yes, I will bring you a long stem red rose, a love that never came, and hope that love will find a way to you. I know the shadows crept inside and messed with your mind. They chased you to the streets, stopped you without mercy in your sleep, drinking too much wine. You tried to leave it all behind No one beside you No one to hide you No one, no one at all So I will bring you A long stem red rose To place upon your grave Yes, I will bring you a long stem red rose for love that never came and hope that love will find a way to I pray that love has found a way